Hey everyone! As you can see, I've been in a real big Halloween mood this year. Every year comes and goes, and I usually end up missing out on doing something for Halloween. So this year, I got started early and managed to finish up an animation meme, which will be up later tonight. But yeah, I love Halloween season. The spooky vibes, the darker content, and then the fun dressing up and eating sweets. I just love all of it. So, if you've been keeping an eye on my TikTok or my YouTube shorts, you'll know that I have already done quite a few Halloween pieces. First, this one with Spotted Shadow, Golden Pelt, and Fern Face. I heard the song Unhealthy Obsession and knew it would be a perfect fit for these characters, and also a perfect fit for Halloween vibes. I also wanted to do some Sora and Riku Halloween art. At first I thought about doing some Halloween Town costumes, but then I thought about Riku and Sora dressing up as pirates for Halloween when they were little, and ugh, it was just too cute not to draw. They are birth by sleep ages here, and I just love how kind and responsible Riku is, and then Sora is of course very excitable, ugh, just so precious. But the main reason I'm throwing this all together is to promote the animation meme premiering later tonight. So for part of the meme, I needed a bunch of Whitney's and I's characters in Halloween costumes. And since the animation meme itself can't be monetized because of copyright and music, I figured doing a quick drawing a blank to explain my thoughts for each costume would be fun. And then I also get to yell at you to tell you to go check out Whitney's comic, Warped. First up, we have Wild First Design. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted to give him a nice, cute, fun, silly outfit because when I was thinking about Wild Fur for Halloween, I was like, oh man, what kind of costume would Wild Fur put together? Either it's something he's been forced into or it'd be something very low effort. Uh, so I thought a very low effort, big pumpkin suit would be really cute. So yeah, I thought that just fit in perfectly. And then he also gets the candy apples. So cute. Next up, we have Sasha, which was actually one of the first ones I did. Um, and so this was kind of the one where I was testing, like, is this the, the chibi style I kind of want to use to uh, to make all these with? And yeah, and I decided to uh, make Sasha a little kind of like a goth pinup outfit. I imagine Sasha would like very casually celebrate Halloween. Like she has fun, but she just kind of want to look, wants to look nice. So that's the outfit I gave her. I think it's cute. <laughs> Here we have Golden Pelt. God, I love how this one turned out so much. So <laughs> when I was thinking of an outfit for Golden Pelt, I was like, oh, it's gotta be something that makes him look like an asshole. So I was like, cowboy, absolutely a cowboy. Um, and so it's both an outfit that he can take kind of seriously but it also looks ridiculous because he's got like the little toy horse there and everything. I love it. <laughs> and then we have Foxit. So this is one of Whitney's characters from Warped. I love Foxit. Um, Foxit is a green wolf man, despite the name Fox, it being in his name. Uh, he's great. And when Whitney and I were thinking about Halloween costumes, uh, for their characters. It was just like, oh yeah, it's gotta be Frankenstein's monster for Foxit. That's just perfect. Cause he's already green and everything. So like that just mm, works perfectly. We have another character of Whitney's here, Essie, Essie Floor. I love them so much. They are non-binary, um, but obviously present very femme. And so I was the one who came up with a costume here. I decided that uh, Essie wearing a, nun, a sexy nun outfit would be just perfect because Essie would absolutely do something that's like a little taboo and then like put sparkles on it. So I love this one. <laughs> Probably my favorite, actually. Spotty, oh my goodness. Okay, so Spotty's Halloween costume is barely even a costume because if Spotty was a human and not a cat living in the Clouded Moon colonies, she would probably just be a teacher, but I really wanted to dress Spotty up in a teacher's outfit, so. 
She looks adorable. She looks like she teaches first or second graders and is so warm and cuddly and kind and reads them books and mm, you love to see it. <laughs> Ren! Okay, so this is uh, Whitney's other character from Warped. This is our main character from Warped, Ren, Catherine. Uh, again, I love her. She's the main character and I wanted to give her obviously more of a kid's costume so she is going as a skeleton for Halloween but it's like a cool costume while it's also very casual because I felt like that fit her personality and then of course she also gets a candy bucket to take along with her. <laughs> and then Blanche. So there's actually a comment on the Ice Cat video where someone was like, oh man, you should draw Blanche in an Elsa outfit. And I swear to God, I was already working on this art when I saw that comment. So same mind, commenter and I, we're, we're, we're working on the same chaotic energy over here. Of course, Blanche in an Elsa costume was just perfect because they both have ice powers and Blanche would absolutely rock doing some drag, so bless his heart, look at him go. He would absolutely, when he's older, have the confidence to like totally rock something like that. So anyway, like I said, uh, this is just gonna be a short drawing a blank, but I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you look forward to seeing the animation meme later tonight. I worked on it uh, off and on for like the last month and it was a ton of fun to put together. I really do think it turned out to be really slick um, and like I said, it was a lot of fun to put together. I had a lot of fun with all the other different elements that are in it that you'll see. And I had a lot of fun figuring out all these costumes for our characters. So happy Halloween, everyone, and stay inspired. If you're in tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new